All right, so this next project I intended to be a speech uh, synthesizer for the RC2014 retro computer that I've been uh, working on. And something went wrong with this one, so try to get the opinion of some people as to what went wrong with this chip. So first of all, let's show the data sheet for the chip. It's an SP0256A-AL2, and this is a phonetic uh, speech synthesizer. Uh, it uses uh, something called allophones, and the allophones can be strung together to create any word. So for example, one popular demo is to make the computer sing the, the song uh, Daisy Bell. For example, you could construct the word Daisy from maybe the phonemes uh, da, a, z, so Daisy. Um, using the chip, you can you know string phonemes together like that, and you can uh, you can make it talk in uh, whatever vocabulary you want. So, scrolling down in the data sheet, here's the list of uh, allophones that it supports. So there's plenty of them to construct plenty of words. Um, you just output a certain uh, value on the data bus, and it will speak that allophone. So let's take a look at the board that I built. Um, here's the SP0256A-AL2. Um, he, over here is a, a 74HCT138 that I use for address decoding. And then I also have a uh, 74HCT245 over here that I'm using to read some bits back and to do some, uh, to add an input port to the board. And over here is an LM386 op amp that will amplify our sound and output it through a header to the speaker. So let's uh, plug this in and see what happens. Okay, so I have the uh, speech synthesizer board plugged in the RC2014. It's right here. Um, you can see it's a speaker is plugged in. See it's crystal there. Got a little card sitting next to it just so it doesn't bump into the board behind it and short out. Got my terminal window open. And let's uh, see what happens when we listen to the first allophone, which will be, num according to the data sheet, will be allophone 5 is an oi like boy. Out. So hex port 20, send a 5. It made absolutely no noise. So let's try um, hex 20. Let's try allophone. Six, this will be a I as in the word sky. What was that? Let's do that again. So you can hear it. Mattel Electronics Presents. Mattel Electronics Presents. That was not an I like in the, uh, the word sky. Let's try... Allophone 7, which should be an E, as in the word end. And it said the word zero. Let's try allophone 8, which should be a K, as in comb. And it said um, one. So obviously, this is not the right uh, programming in this. Uh, this SPO256-AL2, these are not uh, allophones that it's outputting. I ended up writing a program to spew them all out and it counted basically a bunch of numbers. Um, so let's see what is going on. So let's take a look at the Wikipedia page for the SPO256. SPO 256, General Instruments. So, different variants. SPO 256-AL2, most common encountered variant, contains 59 allophones. Okay, that's what we bought. Um, yeah, user speech synthesizers, VIC-20, Atari 8-bit, Radio Shack, etc. Um, now we go down to SPO 256-012. That variant is Mattel's IntelliVoice attachment for the Intellivision video game system. This version only has Mattel-specific game phrases, including the energetic phrase Mattel Electronics Presents. Phrases for digits. Um, okay, that sounds exactly like what we have. It does not contain the allophones found in the SPO256-AL2. Um, yeah, so that's 
clearly what we're listening to. So here, we're looking at the chip under my microscope. I mean, we can clearly see it says SPO256A-AL2. It doesn't say SPO256-12. The, the printing is especially clear. Uh, one might almost say it looks almost new. So flipping, flipping the chip over, I don't know if you can see this in the picture or not, but there's very faintly an 012 on the bottom of the chip. So, I mean, that lends credence to this really being an 012. So what happened here? Well, I can think of two things that happened. I mean, one of them could be that the manufacturer, uh, you know, they made these chips for uh, Mattel for the Intellivision, and they ran off however many of them Mattel wanted, whether it's, you know, 10,000, 100,000, million chips, however many of these things they wanted. But they didn't bother to actually print the, uh, the right part number on it. I mean, I, I suppose that's possible. I mean, maybe it takes extra work to... Uh, set up the, uh, the printer to print a different thing on top of the chip. Uh, the other possibility I can think of is somebody found a stash of these old Mattel SPO256 chips and uh, they know that these things weren't valuable. It's not like there's a bunch of uh, Intellivision users running around trying to repair their Intellivisions and reinstall this chip. You know, it's the uh, the AL2 version is probably far more valuable, whereas the uh, the ON2 version is probably almost worthless. So maybe, maybe somebody um, took the old printing off the chip and put new printing on the chip. That could explain why the printing looks so crisp and vibrant and a lot newer than uh, 30 years old. So. I don't know exactly what happened. Maybe viewers, maybe you guys have some thoughts on what happened. Uh, I've ordered a few more chips from some different places in uh, China. And those chips that I've ordered all have positive reviews. So presumably people who are ordering the chips and trying them out would not give it a positive review if it was the wrong chip. So we will see what happens when uh, more chips arrive in a couple weeks.